good morning today we are going to see full ladder using mux that is multiplexer in last class we have seen multiplexer how to design multiplexer and i will give a brief introduction multiplexer means many to one you have many inputs and you are selecting one of the inputs and it is given as a output that means you are selecting one of the inputs and it is given as a output it is also called data selector now we are going to implement full ladder using multiplexer okay first i am going to draw full ladder truth table and then i will implement that truth table using multiplexer now full ladder truth table as already you know there are three inputs for full ladder we have three inputs a b c okay here a b c first input is 00 and 11 these are all the inputs for the full ladder as you know full ladder is a circuit which has 3 bits at a time and it generates two output one is sum output another one is carry output and there is carry output we have three inputs and two outputs first let us see 0 plus 0 plus 0 Sum is zero, carry is zero. Sum is zero and get this one. Sum is zero and carry is zero. And here, <coughs> if you add this one, sum is one, carry is zero. Sum is one, carry is zero. Here also, if you add this, sum is one and carry is zero. Okay. If you add this, zero plus one, one. One plus one, one zero. Therefore, sum is zero, carry is one. Sum is zero, carry is one. And if you add these three, sum is one, carry is zero. If you add these two, one plus one, one zero. Therefore, sum is zero, carry is one. If you add this one again, sum is zero, carry is one. If you add one plus one, one zero plus one, one one. Therefore, sum will be one and carry will be one. Both are one one. Okay. Now, <coughs> see here in sum column we have four outputs. In sum column we have four outputs. In carry also we have four outputs. Therefore, three inputs are there and two outputs are there. But here in a multiplexer, we have to consider this as a inputs. Okay, multiplexer, this as a inputs and this as a select line. That is the difference between normal circuit and multiplexer. Therefore, what you have to do is here you have to do this as I zero, I one, I two, I two, I three. I four, I five, I six, I seven. Because many to one. Now this is eight inputs for a multiplexer, and output will be sum and carry. Carry, and these three are we are using as select lines. Now let us design and I'll explain. Multiplexer as already you know. 8 by 1, 8 by 1 max, and 4 by 1 max, 4 by 1 max. Here, 8 <coughs> inputs are there. Therefore, we can easily implement 8 by 1 multiplexer. And in tomorrow class, let us see how to implement this 8 input in a 4 by 1 multiplexer. Today, we are going to see 8 by 1 multiplexer. That is very simple. Say first take a 
multiplexer that is 8 by 1 multiplexer 8 by 1 multiplexer take this in this 8 by 1 multiplexer this is i0 i will write inside i0 i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 i6 i7 okay these are all 8 inputs now okay 8 by 1 8 by 1 marks as already told you we have two outputs one is sum output another is carry now let us say this one as a sum let us say this as a sum and uh, this one carry this one carry sum output and carry output here also we have here also we have i0 i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 i6 I7. Okay. Here also 8 inputs are there. Now how to connect? Here in a sum, okay, in a sum, we have I1 as 1, I1 as 1 output, I2 1. Therefore, you connect I1, I1, I2, I1, I2 and I4 i7 i4 i7 you connect all these you connect all these okay you connect all the ones all the ones inputs you simply connect now this is one this is one okay this is one and the remaining are zero and remaining are zero you connect this remaining you connect this remaining okay i0 and i3 i5 i6 i0 this one oh sorry i0 i1 i2 i3 and i5 i6 this is 0 this is 0 now you have given these ones and 0 to this 8 by 1 multiplexer and inputs are given and output is there but we have not connected the control lines now let us connect this one okay here <coughs> i3 is 1 here i3 is 1 then i5 i6 i7 i5 i6 i7 all these are 1 all these are 1 therefore you connect and all these are 1 okay and the remaining are 0 first i0 to i2 i0 to i2 and then i4 or 0 therefore you connect these 4 you connect these 4 okay and it is equal to 0 now you have connected all the zeros and all the ones to the inputs that means 4 inputs are 1 and 4 inputs are 0 now inputs are connected output is also connected but multiplexer works with a <coughs> select lines that means this is 8 by 1 multiplexer therefore 8 inputs are there 8 inputs are there and which can be written as 2 power 3 which can be written as 2 power 3 here 3 is the select lines 3 is the select lines okay now we have to give the select lines i told you we have to connect a b c as a select lines therefore here you connect you connect all the select lines together because it is a single circuit it is a single circuit we are connecting two 8 by 1 multiplexer into a single circuit therefore this is a input as a select line a b c 
Here also it is A, B, C. Now you give here A and B and here C. That means A, B, C. Now these are all called straight lines. These are all straight lines. Okay. Now inputs are given, select lines are given and outputs are there. Therefore, this is a full ladder using multiplexer. Okay. Understand this? Tomorrow we are going to implement 4 by 1. Because here it is a lengthy diagram. Okay. And we are using 8 by 1. 2 by sorry, 4 by 1 mean it is a simple circuit. Why we go for a simple? Because less component, less component mean less cost. Okay. Therefore, we are going to implement by 4 by 1 tomorrow class. Thank you. If you have any doubt, please drop in a comment box. Thank you.